Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not. But no matter how you look at it, this is how I see it. Fandoms edition. Let's take a moment to understand exactly what a fandom is before we get into any of this for those who may not fully understand. So to understand the idea of a fandom, first you have to understand what it is comprised of, and that is fans. Fans are people who like something. However, usually when somebody is considered a fan, it goes beyond just a casual like, but into something that is deeper. This is somebody who is actively interested in seeking out more information than just surface level. These are people that are invested and they want to figure things out, learn more and support whatever it is exactly that they love. There is often a fervor and enthusiasm that comes hand in hand with that of a fan. When you have many fans together and interacting, you get a fandom. And together, people are able to interact with each other and create a base of operations, as you may think of it, for whatever topic this fandom is about. There, you get a huge influx of love, admiration, and general curiosity towards the topic at hand. Now I'm going to bring it around to K-pop because let's be real, that's what I do here. And in terms of K-pop, a fandom arises when it surrounds a particular group. Whatever group that may be, there is fans. And sometimes those fandoms go beyond just being one for a group, but can also be for, hey, say, maybe an entire label or even breaking it down lower and for individual members of said group, which can run into an issue which maybe I'll talk about in another video. Within a fandom for K-pop, you get this fervor, enthusiasm, and advocation for whatever group it is that they are a fandom for. And there are a lot of people that choose not to even engage with a fandom, even if they are fans of that group of their music, but they choose to remain separate fans rather than what we call joining the fandom. In that case, usually the difference is that rather than just being a fan of the music and interacting directly with that group, these are people that are taking a step beyond and not just interacting with the artist and their music and them directly, but also taking an active interest in interacting with other people who happen to share that same interest. And there you get a community of people that absolutely enjoy one particular group. And within these fandoms, we start to get these amazing things that happen from fan projects and donations and all sorts of different things that the fandom can come together, including voting for their favorites or promoting their favorites and doing things above and beyond what would typically happen if you were just say a normal typical fan who just maybe might buy an album when it's released. Fandoms often work together to help their group achieve higher goals. And with this sense of camaraderie that labels often build up and try to help their artists engage and thus a label will foster a fandom even more and help fandom achieve their goals and set new goals for them that creates an even more intense feeling where it is not just the fans working for their artist, but a back and forth sort of community that ends up becoming this crazy thing that it's hard to even understand. And as these fandoms grow, something really interesting happens. And that's that each individual fandom starts to become known for certain things. People start to as associate various traits with different fandoms due to certain things that maybe because members of the group or particular ways that the fans interact with their group can cause different things to become typical. However, with that, I've also noticed that there are levels of toxicity that exist and those can sometimes be fostered and compounded in various ways. Also, I've noticed with a lot of K-pop fandoms, there's a lot of willful ignorance. And this comes from a sense of 
You want what is best for your group. And that often happens at the detriment of putting down other groups unnecessarily, which is probably the grossest thing that I've ever seen because nobody needs to put down anybody else in order to build up their own favorites unless they have their own sort of insecurities. And one of the problems that I end up seeing is that often infighting begins to happen and that infighting between different fandoms and even sometimes within a fandom often (laughs) is a stem from just people being just jackasses. I'm not going to get too much into fandom wars and my thoughts on that and all the toxicity that is around the K-pop industry in within fandoms. I will save that for another video if you guys are interested in that. Well, it's coming, but it's not going to be right now. But again, to reiterate the positive of fandoms, they allow people to interact and join this sort of camaraderie. Sometimes when you're into K-pop, it can feel isolating from the outside world. It can sometimes make you feel different, especially if you live in a place where K-pop is not necessarily looked on as something that is just music. Sometimes people are just like, well, why do you like these boys? Why are you so into this? Why are these girls taking up so much of your time? And it fosters this sense of, well, am what I'm doing right? Should I be supporting these people? And at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. And being able to find a fandom that will support you and encourage you and uplift you, especially in those moments when people around you might be trying to knock you down, is a really encouraging and supportive thing. And that's one great thing about being part of a fandom is that you have these like-minded people that are around you that can help lift you up. And even if they aren't lifting you up, it's somebody that you can go to and talk to rather than keeping everything bottled up inside. And sometimes talking is really all that you need to be happy sometimes. But in the end, this is how I see fandoms on a basic level. Like I mentioned, there are certain things about fandoms that I can make an entire new video for. And if you are interested in seeing those things or any other things related to K-pop or K-dramas or things like that, please let me know in the comments down below and I will do videos in the future. I want to continue this series even if you guys aren't really attached to it, but it's nice to get my views out there rather than just constantly making reactions, which are so much fun, but who doesn't like actually talking about things? Exactly. I will see you guys next time. Bye.